A few years ago, Adonit came out with a stylus for the iPad that allowed you to take notes with a sharp tip, but had a little plastic disc that made it actually work on an iPad. I'm here with, and I forgot his name already, Chase Sherman, uh, who's going to tell me about the advances that Adonit has made in this area in the last couple of years since I've been paying attention. Great. So uh, we got started on uh, Kickstarter uh, th about three years ago. And um, since that first product, we've uh, come a long way uh, from a little, about four people in a garage to now I'm a multinational company. Um, uh, just this last year, we reached a really exciting milestone. We sold over three million styluses worldwide. So it's pretty exciting for us. Now it looks like you've got three different categories here. One category for uh, note taking, which is probably my biggest interest area, and then I forget what the middle one is, and then you've got one for artist. Right, so uh, all the way over here on our right, these are our more entry-level styluses. This is the Jot Pro and the Jot Mini. These are great all-around styluses. They're designed to work on any touchscreen device. Um, so you're not limited to an Apple, Android, whatever product you have, you're good to go. There's no so special. You were showing me that uh, you made changes in the, in the technology of the tip, which was where I had a right. little bit of trouble before. Now it's been improved. Correct. So, um, you know, we definitely always work to improve our products and take our customer feedback very seriously because we want to make the best products we can. So probably in, since the time that uh, you maybe have one of our original products, we've uh, decreased the disc size and we've improved its connection by adding some different materials in the tip, which give you a, uh, a, a better connection when you're using it on a touchscreen device. And we've improved the tip as well, give it a little bit of a spring, maybe hard to see on camera. but. Um, gives you a nice smooth feel when you use it on your And I think that'll help with part of what I had was I, w I would hit the uh, the iPad and it would kind of make a tapping sound. This would allow me to press and move. Exactly. So one of the things that this um, helps with is that sound. Now, you know, you are using something on a, on a glass screen, so there's only so much you can eliminate. But that's one of the things that this tip does help with is try to eliminate some of that clap. Now, I did some testing with it, and it was very, very responsive. I was pleased with that. And the uh, the Jot Mini is just so light and tiny. That's an awesome little little product. Yeah, it's great for mobile. I mean, especially if you live in a cold climate, you know, and you want to take out your phone in the middle of winter, you want to take off your gloves, you just bring out your stylus, you're good to go, start navigating on your phone. Um, that seems to be what a lot of people really enjoy about it, is being able to use it on their phone wherever they go. All right, let's move down to this middle one. What is this called? So this here is our Jot Script. It is a digital stylus, pairs with Bluetooth to your iPad device. It's primarily, primarily designed for note taking. So it has some features that kind of go along with that. It is a precision point. It's 1.3 millimeters. It's the smallest tip on any stylus today. And what that allows you to do is get really precise notes when you're using it on your iPad. Combined with palm rejection, you use it on your screen, it will not pick up your finger. It will only pick up your stylus. So where the Jot actually does the uh, capacitive touch, this is using Bluetooth to connect to your app. Right. This is using a combination of capacitive and Bluetooth technologies to give you a very natural screen uh, handwriting feel in a digital environment. And what is this one called again? The Jot Script. Okay. And then uh, if one had an artistic bent, which I do not, what do, what do you have for them? Well, for artists, we have our Jot Touch. You know, we're a company of creative people, and so it's really important to us to design something that could be used by artists. So what we've done here is we've um, incorporated some of the same technology from the script, and we've gone one further. So you have palm rejection as well here. You also have pressure sensitivity. So for artists, you know, when they want to use uh, various brushes, the harder they press down or the lighter, they can increase or decrease their line thickness and the ink delivery. So it gives them a very natural feel with the brushes um, when they're drawing. So, you know, they'll give them things that they're used to using in the uh, more, you know, uh, analog world, in the analog world, but in the digital space instead. Okay, so what, what is the price point on these three? Great, so uh, on your touch here, it is $99.99. The script goes for $74.99. The Pro is $29.99. And the Mini is $19.99. I gotta tell you, I like the Mini the best out of all of those, Great. but then again, I don't have artistic talent, so I'm, I'm happy it's $19.99. Right, we try to you know do a little bit for everybody, you know, all the way up at our top end with the touch for our artists. You know, our, our students, our note takers, our business professionals, they love the got Jot script. And you know, just the entry level with the Pro and Mini for all around kind of use. Um, 
or just, you know, navigation foam, but you still take notes and sketch with it. There you go. Well, this is pretty cool. Where would go people go to find your products? Well, best place is uh, probably our website, adonit.net. Um, we're also available on Amazon and various retailers, depending on your country. And that's A-D-O-N-I-T dot net. And are these all available today? They are all available today. Thank you very much. Thank you.